Hi everyone, welcome back to N level one. Uh, just a uh, brief reminder, uh, there's a closing plenary in the Jockey Club Auditorium after this session at half four. Uh, sorry, half three, I think. Um, is, it, is it now four? Okay, thank you very much. It, um, the, cl uh, the closing plenary is now four, in case you can't hear it. So, see you there. And I'll hand over to Andrew. So, is that means a, does that mean it's a break before the, before the closing plenary then? If it's four o'clock? Okay, um, hello everybody. Can you, can you all hear me? Is this microphone excellent? What we're going to talk about today is um, the issue of how we as the, the meta community talk to approximately everyone else. I originally intended to talk about the whole of Wikimedia, the whole movement, and then realised that I was writing a PhD thesis and not a 20 minute talk. So I've cut this down somewhat. Um, we're, going to, we're going to talk about what we're doing so far. Um, I think four is the... I think, can people see this? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to, we, I decided to cut it down. We're going to focus on the English Wikipedia because A, I know it the best, I'm going to be brutally honest, and B, it is the most messy of all of them. So the problems are most pronounced there. It has the largest community and in some ways the most um, turbulent. Is turbulent a good word? I think it is. Turbulent. So, the other thing to bear in mind is that I put this uh, presentation proposal together on the 29th of April. On the 30th of April, we launched notifications on the English Wikipedia. So, a lot of it has been changed quite fast. There's your answer. How do we talk to 10,000 people? We talk to 10,000 people badly. I think we can all agree on this to some extent. There are things we are doing wrong. There are things we have always been doing wrong. It's a hard problem, though. There are approximately 10,000 active people at any one time in the English Wikipedia, which is a tenth of our whole movement. There are substantially more who aren't active at any one time but want to know about things. Um, these people have very, very different levels of being involved. They have Some of them know everything that's going on. Some of them check in once a month. And they have very different expectations. Some people want to know about every single technical change. Some people just don't care as long as the site doesn't catch fire. So we're trying to deal with a whole very, very complicated mass of people. And we don't, at the moment, have very sophisticated tools for doing that. It's a bit better. So as I said, we're going to restrict this a bit. In scope, it's res I'm restricting to just English, because again, we know it. We're not going to talk about translation and language issues, which are a major problem for our movement. We're not going to talk about the issues of cross-cultural communication, which, again, ditto. Um, there's a mailing list thread about once a month about American communication, often applied to non-Americans, interestingly. Um, we're not going to talk about communication to the general public, outreach, or to the press, uh, or indeed editorial communication. So this is solely meta-information, by which I mean stuff about the movement, about policy, about organizational issues, stuff that isn't about content. So that's things like notifications of discussions, for example. And we are all trying at this. There is no one, as far as I know, who is actively trying to hide anything they're doing. We're all working hard. This is not going and beating up the community. This is not going and beating up the foundation. Um, I had a very interesting conversation with someone who Obviously, it was under the impression I should do something else, but we're not. It's not what it's here for. Things are already changing for the better. We are doing better now than we were four months ago. We are doing better now than we were four years ago. We are doing a better job of getting more information to more people in a more suitable fashion. I'll talk about some of those new methods and tools in a bit. And I don't claim to have an answer. This is something that's been bugging me for eight years, but it's not something I think I know the answer to. So where do we stand right now? We tell people about things to do with the movement as a whole. We tell people about things like elections, major, major, major policy changes, like the new, the recent legal consultation. Um, and we tell people things on a local basis, so stuff that happens around where they live. We tell people about things that chapters are doing, or meetups in their area, or events, or very 
at various other things that happen. We tell people about technical things. So we talk about upcoming changes, recent things that have happened, and why the site looks different now. We tell them about things that have been fixed or things that have broken. And we tell them that we're wanting to deploy something. We want new people to test it. And then on the project, specifically, we talk about all sorts of things, policy discussions. We tell them about there's a new RFC about right now there's a big term in one about good articles, for example. We talk about elections. We are running an election for such and such. Please stand. We talk about the big meta RFCs. Um, as opposed to the content RFCs. We have messages from wiki projects about their organisational issues, and of course thousands upon thousands of editorial issues, some of which are very, very big, some of which are very, very small. All of those involve communicating with the community. Very interestingly, or I find this interesting, we very rarely advertise job openings within the movement to the community. So I can think of a couple of times that I've seen someone on wiki trying to say, look, the foundation is recruiting for someone to do such and such, or this organization is recruiting for someone to do such and such related to Wikimedia. Why we don't do that is an interesting question. In some ways, it seems like it's just something we don't do because we don't do it. But it's an interesting thing to bear, bear in mind, I think. And we have three broad methods of doing this. The first of these is essentially things in the site interface. So the central notice or site notice puts banners at the tops of pages, watch list notices appear on the watch list, geo notices also appear on the watch list. We have methods of communicating through the project itself, not through the site interface. The hundreds of notice boards, the village pumps, I think English Wikipedia has what, six village pumps? Um, the wiki projects are methods of communication. We use the newsletters, most predominantly the signposts, but also other newsletters. Um, many talk pages function as de facto notice boards for particular issues and particular policies. We have the central discussion template, which you should all keep an eye on if you don't already, it's amazing. Um, we have things like centralised lists of RFCs, and of course we have notifications, which is still in a somewhat experimental turbulent stage. It's great, I love it dearly, and we're going to be doing hopefully great things with it in the future. And then we have all sorts of off-wiki communication. So we have lots of mailing lists. I think at one point I tried screenshotting our list of mailing lists and I couldn't fit it on here. There's no end of them. We have IRC channels. We have various forms of social media that people use to talk about Wikipedia and Wikimedia in general. We have Meta, of course. We have MediaWiki itself, um, other, smaller tech, other smaller separate wikis. We have press. There are a surprising number of times I've heard we're doing something because I've read a newspaper article about it. And that's from someone who reads Foundation L, you know, or MediaWiki L now. How do we not know about these things? I don't know. There's the chapters, there's direct email, there's personal contact. How many of you have learned about some new thing just by talking to someone this weekend? And there's Bugzilla, which is possibly the most horrendous communication tool imaginable, but we use it. And there's others. I'm sure there are others I just don't know we're using for these purposes. Some guesses. I think we're using, um, we're making some kind of major movement related to communication to people approximately 10 times a year. So that's things like Wikimedia is coming, apply for a scholarship, or we want you to stand for election, or we're having the elections, or the elections are finishing, vote now, that sort of thing. Local ones can vary. Some people will never see a local message, ever, because simply because of where they live. If you live in, you know, I don't know, northern Canada, you're not going to receive many local communications from us. If you live in London, you're potentially going to get 50 or more a year. The congestion with local messages in the UK has got to the point that we've had to start combining them and batching them just to avoid driving people insane. Technically, it can vary. The, there's a technical newsletter that comes out every week. I don't know how many people read that. Um, major technical notifications, maybe one every two months on average. Um, incredibly major things, maybe twice a year. But of course, all those incredibly major things involve notices that it's coming and apologies that it's gone wrong, perhaps. Um, and then we have the project communications. So at a very rough estimate, we make more than 300 meta-oriented project requests for involvement to people a year. That's very simply, we have about a thousand RFCs a year and about a third of those are meta in some way. They're not about content. And of course there are other things where we invite commentary that we don't formally call an RFC. 
other other big discussions that we draw people into. So potentially easily one a day people could be notified of. We don't, but we could be notifying, and we are notifying many of these in some way. And not everyone sees everything. So there are very many changes that completely pass people by, no matter how well we try and advertise it. And we do a kind of triage of priority. And I always find this quite interesting because it doesn't seem to be formally li listed anywhere. But there is this sense that some discussions are more important than others, obviously. If we run something saying, we're going to sell Wikimedia, then probably we would rank that somewhat higher than, I think we've spelled notability wrong in the policy. So we, at the very top end of the spectrum, we tend to run things like, like foundation elections or the big notices saying we're about to go down because someone's done something terrible to the servers or incredibly important requests for comment, like the big very, very turbulent one running for visual editor right now. Um, below that a bit are watch list notices, which we tend to use for big technical RFCs or big policy related RFCs about, well, I think the visual editor was a watch list notice at one point. And then we, we sort of stable down through central discussion versus notice in signposts versus notice in village pumps. And there's some kind of informal triaging going on here as people will say, well, that's not really appropriate for this level, it should be notified at this level. And again, it's not, doesn't seem to be formalized, at least I've never seen a formal list. And right at the bottom, there's the sort of general flow of messages on notice boards, messages to users who people think are relevant, um, pinging people in notifications, all this sort of thing. And there are many problems with the way we currently work. So users get really annoyed. I think we can all agree that people get, has everyone here in this room got really annoyed at some point by being told stuff? Yeah, yeah. And we have overload. There are potentially 10 notice boards on which you could leave a message, I think, and say, I've notified the Wikipedia community. And if they don't read all of those 10 notice boards, people are going to miss out on something you think you've told them about. And there's going to be five notifications a day on each of those. So if you don't read them every day and keep back on them, it's just going to skim by, you're going to miss it. They're also indiscriminate. We have a triage by priority, but we don't really have a way of sorting by interest. So there's no easy way, unless you actually go and subscribe to specific newsletters, the tech newsletter, for example, there's no way of saying, I really want to know about technical changes, interface changes, I don't care about policy issues, or vice versa. Because we prioritize only by priority, there's no way of filtering by topic. It doesn't work for cross-project things. For, I mean, we're only talking about things Wikipedia here, but it doesn't, we always have that breakdown where we say, oh, it's happening on Meta, go and talk on Meta. And other wikis have the problem where we say, it's happening on English, go and talk on English. And all these together lead to people getting disengaged. They get disengaged, they get annoyed, they get disenchanted, they walk away, or they just stop caring, or they stop paying attention. None of this is good, because these are important. This is the, the one quote I have in here, and it's from someone I almost never agree with, which is nice which was noting that by a site notice, we got 100 people in the course of a quarter of a day, 100 people contributed to an RFC. One site notice, five hours, bang, all these people flooded in. It can get a lot of attention and a lot of engagement. Being able to publicize discussions means that we can be more confident those discussions and their results are legitimate. We have a real problem about people not participating in discussions. Big things that change the entire site are decided on by 30 people out of 10,000. Much That's smaller than that. Yeah. CFD, about five people, that's it. Yeah. Um, and invitations to participate are themselves a positive thing. If we don't bombard people with something, but we say to them, we want you to talk to us about this, people like that. People like being invited to participate in things, assuming that they get a sense that it's not just a, another circular shoved through the letter box. And as a result, if done well, notifying people can deepen participation, can strengthen the community. So what could we do to go forward? As I said, since I originally submitted this, we've had two new tools appear. The first of these is notifications. And there's been a couple of talks about notifications so far this weekend. I think it's possibly one of the best things to have happened in the past few years. I can't decide if it's that or Wikidata, I don't know. Um, it allows us to send messages directly to individuals. It allows those individuals to know whether or not they've seen them and to know that there are new messages for them. And on the whole, some implementation details aside, it's been well received, which is quite unusual for a new software feature on Wikipedia. 
people got complained about message bars and so on, but they seem to quite like the idea of getting messages. And already people are doing really quite innovative things with it. We've had it for a couple of months and people are already starting to do things like build distribution lists and use it for purposes it wasn't intended for. And I'm seeing people start using it in conversations to try and strengthen discussions and bring people back in. This is really good stuff. And those of you who use commons will have noticed a marvelous tool appearing on watch lists where they took the clutter of notifications that appeared at the top of commons at the top of a watch list notice, merged them all together and produced this little box that cycles through them all. So you only see one at a time, but it, as you watch your watch list, more and more appear. Um, and it allows you to filter. So you can say, actually, I really only want to know about technical changes. Remove everything else, just show me technical changes, and you'll get just the technical change notifications. Or you can say, I only care about policy, I only want to know about elections, or I want to know about these different things. There are 12 selectable options there. I was hoping to show this to people this weekend, but I can't seem to get it to work. So I don't know if it's currently broken or if there are just no messages. There's no messages. There's no messages. Okay, Commons doesn't like talking to people today. It's a quiet weekend. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is the notifications window, for those of you who haven't seen it. It's been live on the English Wikipedia for a few months now. It's going to go live on four more Wikipedias next week, is that right? Uh, yeah, August 20th, the week after that. And then... French, Polish, Swedish, and uh, Portuguese. Portuguese. Portuguese, thank you. So watch out, it's going to be great. And this is what the, the sign-up list looks like. So you can see here we've got, I want to know about policies, I want to know about policy changes rather than new ones. I want to know about elections, I want to know about new features. And there are more options like this, so you get to filter what you care about. So from a technical side, we can actually start rationalising now some of these methods we use. It's possible to pull most of this, to say, let's use something like the Commons Watchlist tool and pull most of the notifications into that. Most users use their watchlist. Some don't, but most will look at it every now and again. So we can start pulling things like most of the stuff that ends up in Geo Notice, in Watchlist Notice, and Central Discussion could in theory be pulled into that notification. Very major discussions, very major things that are coming up that you ought to know about. We could also look into expanding the way that we use notifications. Are there ways to deliver, for example, some of the key RFCs? Are there ways to build guidelines to identify relevant users or to build sign-up distribution lists for policy discussions? And of course, in a year or so, we'll have Flow, which will offer potentially all sorts of other interesting changes. There are all sorts of technical possibilities here. At the moment, we can do things with notifications, and we can look at using something like the Commons tool, which I think is great. Until then, there are some social workarounds we can look at. So we can look at deliberately starting discussions early, leaving time for word to spread among users about it, rather than relying on banging up notices with a, week, a week's warning. We can look at the possibility of escalating notices, bring the discussion up on the village pumps, see what the uptake is like. If that uptake isn't, what seem, if it isn't seemingly enough, doesn't feel like enough to give legitimacy to the discussion, then escalate it to a more obtrusive level rather than starting at a higher level. And look at ways in which we could use more per user notification. So there's a lot of RFCs that involve notifying everyone who's ever contributed to a similar RFC, which is a bit blunt, but it works reasonably well and it does mean that people do find out about it. And consider what the priorities for audiences are. So for example, one of the major problems we get occasionally with technical discussions is that people will say, this thing is coming, or this patch is being put in, but the actual immediate user-facing implication of that isn't clear. Will it actually change my interface, is what people want to know. Will it change the way I have to do something? If you can answer yes or no to that in your one sentence explanation, they'll be happy or they'll be angry, but they'll at least know why they're angry. And what has previous discussion involved? Have we talked about something like this before? If so, did 10 people participate or did 1,000 people participate? That might let you know how to pitch this discussion and who to pitch it at. And as I say, I don't have clear answers to this. I want to know, you know, I think we can do better. I think we're doing well, but we can do better. So, 
please comment. You know more than I do about this. I would also like to say one last thing, is that, as I said, this was a, a put in the last minute in April. I only discovered today that a talk was given on a very similar topic last year in DC. So my apologies to those of you who went to Washington and sat through this twice. <laughs> Thank you.
value people might have got from seeing something that they didn't see. And that's kind of impossible to measure. Um, you, can just, you can just see it improving when things improve. Um, anyway, I was going to say, um, uh, your work on just finding all the different channels is really valuable.
teams with them. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah. Was it, it was Android? Yeah, I couldn't tell them.